Hello. In this video, we are going to revisit the two driving forces of price. Check out the entire Black Shoals course at momentsintrading.com or at youtube.com slash momentsintrading. In the section on the intuition and assumptions of the Black Shoals formula, we discussed that assuming an efficient and random market, Black and Shoals applied Louis Bashir's work on using geometric Brownian motion to model stock prices. Brownian motion is a physics formula used to model random occurrences in physics. The formula assumes two driving forces, a fixed overall drift rate and a random stochastic process. Let's take a closer look at Brownian motion. Imagine a crowd of people standing with their arms up in the air, palms up flat, and someone tosses a large ball onto the top of the crowd's hands. Imagine that the wind is slowly blowing the ball across the top of the crowd's hands from one side of the crowd to the other at a constant rate. If the crowd does not move their hands, the ball will just slowly drift across the top of their hands slowly from one side to the other from the constant wind force blowing it. However, if the crowd randomly moves their hands around at a constant speed, the ball will still drift across the crowd, but two things will happen. The first is that the ball will now move around in a random motion. Before there was one driving force and the path was predictable, the ball was blowing in a direct path across the crowd. Now there are two driving forces, the constant wind force blowing the ball across the top of the crowd. But that path is now totally random as the second driving force of the random movement of the crowd's hands causes the ball to wiggle and waggle back and forth across the top of the crowd. In addition, the movement of the crowd's hands drags down or slows down the constant force moving the ball from the blowing of the wind. So in this situation, the two driving forces are the constant drift from the wind and the random stochastic component of the crowd randomly moving their hands at a constant speed. If the crowd stops moving their hands, the ball drifts across slowly at a known rate, which is the speed of the wind, on a known certain path. However, when the crowd moves their hands around at a constant rate, it slows down the movement of the ball from the wind and changes the path of the ball from a certain path to a random path. Now let's apply Brownian motion to the movement of an asset price. Again, there are two driving forces of price, a constant drift rate and a random stochastic variable. The randomness comes from the volatility, and the no-riskless arbitrage argument shows us that with this randomness removed, in other words, with the risk or volatility removed, the drift rate must be the risk-free rate or one could engage in riskless arbitrage. Therefore, the two driving forces of price are the risk-free rate and the effect that constant random volatility has on that rate. In the example with the ball, adding in the randomness and volatility of movement from the crowd's hands changes the path of the ball from certain to random and drags down the force from the blowing of the wind. In an asset, the volatility changes the path of price from a certain path of the risk-free rate to a random path. In addition, volatility drags down the risk-free rate to a lower value. In other words, volatility erodes returns. The constant random movement of the crowd's hands slowed down the force of the wind blowing the ball. The volatility of the periodic daily returns erodes the risk-free rate. We'll cover this more in later videos, but it turns out the rate that volatility erodes is half of the variance over time. Drift rate with the risk removed, a certainty of the risk-free rate over time. Drift rate with the risk included, a probability distribution curve with the mean of the risk-free rate minus half of the variance over time. Return erosion from volatility will be the subject of our next video. See you then.